In this video, I'm going to show how to make use of a generative component to place the guardrail from the alignment or corridor model from the open road designer. You can see here I got a alignment and a corridor model from open road designer. And there's a 3D model generated for the road model. Okay. So now I start the GC coming with uh, Open Rail Designer or Open Road Designer and even Open Building Designer. And then I prepare a script like this. This is the transaction of the script. First, I add the coordinate system and then I make the attachment of the coordinate model. And also, I define two points to create a range to cover the model. And then I add the range and then change the shoulder edge line and center line into generated component elements. And next, I'm going to hide the range, hide the coordinate system, and also the reference. So you can see now in the wheel, this is the shoulder edge line, and this is another one. And also in the center, there's a center line. They are all polyline from GC. So next, I'm going to add the coordinate system on the left hand side. I teach to build the coordinate system using a series command that's from the start and the end of the line, and each one has 5 meters apart. So I will have this coordinate system distributed along this line. And then I do the same on the right hand side. Okay, so you can see I got another coordinate system along the right hand side, so the edge. And next, I'm going to change the direction of the coordinate system on the left hand side. And then I add a cell, which is the guard of the guard rail, the pole of the guard rail. And you can see the pole has been placed. Then next, I change the orientation of the coordinate system on the right hand side as well. To align the cell. Then next, I place the guard on the right hand side as well. So this is another cell. Finally, I want to place the rail. I will use the B spiral surface features in GC to swap a rectangle surface along a curve. So I do it on the left hand side first and this is the rail I placed and also on the right hand side. Okay you can see I placed the crash barrier along the corridor model. Then I save the script. And this crash barrier has been placed to this DGN. Then I'll go back to the Open Road Designer. And this is the 3D corridor model. 
and then I attach the DGN which generate by GC and show the reference you will see the crash barrier will be placed along the road on both left hand and right hand side then I would like to do one more thing I want to change a little bit on the alignment so I'm using ORD to change for example the radius of this curve so I select, select on the alignment then I want to change the radius for example from 350 to 300 so you see the radius will be changed and also the corridor model will be changed as well so you can see here the road has been shifted but you will find the hand well the gut well didn't make any change but I can simply go back to geometry component and then I click this one update model and you will find the radar simply change and also the crash barrier has been updated as well so I save this file and then I go back to overload designer and then go to attachment you will see there's a modified reference file and I click on this pencil you will find the barrier will be updated so this video how show how to use GC to create the crash barrier for a road model and I can update the alignment and or call it a model and rerun the GC script the crash barrier will be updated as well thank you